Hey everybody, it's Dr. Papillon here, and this is a cast video. So this sim is Joy Lorenzo. She's the first sim in a cast series that I'm starting. So I'm going to go through all of the aspirations in the game and make a sim to fit that aspiration. And while I did come up with her aspiration after I made her, I also got the idea for this series after I made her. But she is a friend of the world, or at least she will be. Um, her traits are self-assured, she's outgoing, and she's an insider, I believe. So, I feel like I'm a little bit of a cheat at cast because I like to randomize sims until I find one that I like, and then I just tweak them to make them even more of what I like. And so, yes, she's the first randomized female sim that I got, basically. Because the, the first female sim that I got was actually just a female version of the male like, auto-generated sim that's made by EA. And so she's the first one that wasn't auto-generated like that, she was randomly generated. So... I... I also use some CC on her, but if you decide to download her at my origin ID, Dr. Papillon, um, it's not gonna make her naked or anything, or bald. So the only CC I use on Sims is a default skin, default eyes, and lashes. So when you download her, she's not gonna have any eyelashes, her eyes are gonna be normal EA eyes, and her skin is gonna be normal EA skin. She's not gonna look any- oh, I also have freckles. I have freckles as a skin detail. Sorry, I lied to you guys. She has freckles as a skin detail. So when you guys download her, she's gonna have everything about her, all her accessories, makeup, hair, all that except for freckles, lashes, a fancy skin, and fancy eyes. So I don't think she's gonna be all that bad once she's missing all that. I also experimented with taking screenshots of The Sims, and I actually kinda like it. Um, one, it gives me something I can make a thumbnail out of for the video. But also, two, I get some really cute pictures of her. And it's like, man, it actually makes me like Sims more if I take screenshots of them. Like, um, I'm not really the type of person who plays The Sims. I build in The Sims. Occasionally I make characters in The Sims that I play for about, I don't know, five, six real human hours. And then I give up and they die in my 40 plus save games. But... Making the screenshots actually makes me kind of want to play her, because I kind of get a little bit more of her personality. I will say, though, that when I was trying to get her to pose for them, I do not use custom poses. I switched out one of her traits for a romantic, because I feel like that's a lot more expressive and visual than, like, the outgoing trait or the self-assured trait. She kind of, like, looks to the side, and it was very difficult for that to work, because I wanted her mostly facing the front still. So, when she's posing, that's a romantic trait. But otherwise, it should be fine. But, um, yeah. I think it's starting to get to the point of the video where I should wrap things up. My name is Dr. Papillon, D-R underscore P-A-P-I-L-L-O-N. Follow me on Origin. Also, follow me here, subscribe, like, comment down below, and tell me what aspiration you want to see next. And I'll see you next time.